everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Titanium Rhino. I got Superior Bear with me. Um, it occurred to me, as much as I've played this game, I did an entire playthrough on my channel. It was actually part of the reason I started my channel, just to play Cyberpunk. Um, but I did the entire story playthrough of the original release back before Phantom Liberty was released. And then I did a small series afterwards, just completing gigs and side missions and stuff after I did the main mission. But Phantom Liberty has been out for a year and it occurs to me now that I have not recorded Phantom Liberty at all. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Also, for those yeah, of you who have not been watching my channel you know that this game came out four years ago I only last month got bear into it I bought him the game and practically forced him to play he has not yet seen Phantom Liberty he doesn't know anything about it so this is going to be a first look for him and we're going to go yeah. together so, Bear, I appreciate the fact that you waited for me to do this and that you want me to do it instead of doing it yourself first playthrough. Yeah. Um, but you just beat the game, right? I did. What do you think? Um, final thoughts. Final, first final thoughts. thoughts. First final thoughts. <laughs> uh, I have completed one of, what, 12 endings? <laughs> Some, something like that, yeah. <laughs> I've got a ways to go. Uh, but you put what, I, I kinda, like 50 I, hours into it now? Um, the first save, probably 40 in the first save. Okay. Uh, I will say, I did some of the side missions. I didn't do um, a whole lot of them, and I had no clue what I was doing. Uh, <laughs> as as with kinda, most first playthroughs, that's the way it yeah. goes. Yeah, so I, I just didn't really know what I was doing in terms of, like, building a character and stuff. Uh, so I kind of rushed to the main story, really more than anything else, just so I could kind of get the gist of what was happening. Um, but now you got a second character going, and you feel a lot better about I it. I slowly f fell in love with Night City <laughs> uh, and the story. Again, for those of you watching, four years I've been riding this guy's butt to get him into the game. And now that I bought it for him and he actually put in 40 hours worth of gameplay, he loves it. It's just think it, it took me turning 41 in order to uh, figure it out. <laughs> yep, that is true. But, uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely um, slowly and methodically playing through. On my uh, my new my new save, so so good though. Doing doing lots of uh, doing lots of stuff. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> this playthrough around, I I I knew that I wanted to do a netrunner, so I started with that, and then I I did all of the original side missions before the first major mission of the game, the heist. So Before the heist, yep. Pretty, pretty jazzed about that. I got to um, got to level 19 before the heist. Um, so I had a pretty decent build going in. And I, I, it was a cakewalk of a mission after that. Yeah. Um, so once, once you get a feel for it, it does make a difference. Um, yeah. You said you're going net net runner, so that's what you'll be seeing here. I built this character out to be a pretty powerful net runner. Uh, I made you that compilation video of just some net runner gameplay, so you kind of base yeah. off of that. Um, but yeah, we'll get into this. What do you say we get into it now, and you can see kind of how everything hey, comes together? Me, yeah, show me like what your setup is first before you dive in. Okay. Uh, let's see. So there's my character first off. I kind of like the look. The army fatigues almost. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Um, I'm playing around with the weapons a little bit. The only staple Jesus, in my man, weapon loadout. Nah, it's just a shirt. Um, <laughs> so I am using the transmog system in the game because uh, I've got a Netrunner helmet, which gives me the 12% enemy quick hack upload time. 
I've got 10% uh, quick hack upload time reduction just on my face pieces. And then for the shirt slot, I've got 15% quick hack damage resistance. So the, the clothing really only gives you boosts for uh, net runners. So I'm, I'm wearing that stuff. Uh, the other stuff doesn't really matter because I'm using the, the transmog, but it would look really dumb without it. <laughs> yep. Uh, for cyberware, I'm running the Tetratronic Rippler Mark IV for my my uh, cyber deck. I have the thermal mono wire. I don't really use it, but that's my arm mod. And then I've got the smart yep. link because I'm using the the prototype Shinjin Mark V. And I think I told you where to get that outside the Arasaka warehouse. But that's that's my primary weapon when I'm not quick hacking. Yep. And I've got optical camo on. I sometimes switch that out for grenades just when I'm feeling randy. <laughs> sure. I've got my silenced pistol. And this this third slot I actually switch out quite often, but I'm running with a katana just for the sake of getting those uh, shinobi experience points, because it seems to rack up faster with that than it does with SMGs. Yep. Um, but I want to get that that shinobi all the way maxed out because there is some massive buffs or at least the very last one is what I want. Sandeviston gives 40% crit chance but you get this all the way maxed out you get all of these extra ones, air dash yeah. bonus, fast attack bonus mitigation Like I, I, I just want to max that out and that's why I'm using that sword Netrunner is almost completely maxed out already just because of all the quick hacking I'm doing but yeah and then I've got I'm level 36 intelligence and tech ability both maxed out I'm pumping more into reflexes now too mainly because I want to get this air dash just for mobility. I've pretty much got all the functionality I want out of the trees. So I think once I get reflexes up to, what is it, 15 to unlock that? Yeah. I might pump it into points, or pump points into body just to get survivability. But that's, that's pretty much where I'm leaning with everything now. So yeah, that's, that's my build. I like it, if, man. You, it's good. if you want to look at the other cyberware, it's all here too. It's all just like RAM upgrade type stuff. So it's all put towards building up that net runner capability. I've got my double jump. Again, the op optical camo, a little bit of defense, the smart link. Uh, for the optics, let's see, what do I have? Highlights, okay, cameras, and turrets. Upgrade your stuff. Yeah, I, I've been kind of slacking on that. <laughs> but there's a reason. There is a reason I've been trying to hoard money because once you get into Dogtown, you can get iconic, legendary gear. Okay. And it's expensive. Okay. All right. That's so fair I've, enough. I've been trying to hold off on spending money on stuff out here because the stuff in there is way better. Awesome. All right, let's let's um let's get this show rocking and rolling, eh? All right. I'm going Canadian to that, by the way. So eh, eh. <laughs> eh. I see all these. Uh, I see all these these yellow um, arrows, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta go on a killing spree. Oh yeah. And you're just like kind of working your way through. <laughs> I've done it. It's not a great way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if you want to become Dogtown's most wanted, maybe you do go that way. Yeah, maybe. Oh, no! Well, Johnny's not having a good time. You're gonna be okay. Whatever 
big hit. Broke down. Racing hard. Cold sweat. It'll pass. <laughs> Fuck you doing? This a trap? Something stinks here. I think she's she's fucking with the relic. How in the ball tree, Johnny. The donkey fry. The gold safe. No, fuck off. She can see him. Gotta cut you off. What? For your safety for the BC. Dude, are you like breathing on the mic? No, I have a fan on my face. Sorry. Uh, I can hear it. <laughs> okay, so how'd you change your Johnny's appearance? Uh, you go into game settings from the menu rather than in game. And there's an alternate appearance. Just now, I am on board Space Force One, sitting right across from Rosalind Myers. President of the new United States of America. The president? Fuck. I... You gotta do something about that fan, dude. I'm not joking. Yeah, I am. Chill out. Serious. Yes. The plane's been hacked. Trajectory set for Night City. They'll bring us down to Dogtown soon. That's better, Our thank you. Are down. Most likely jammed. I turned it off. <laughs> was my only option. Right now, you're a one contact <sighs> on the ground. Damn it. My head's been off. Hat, right? You're a runner. Can't override? I could. All I need is 24 hours, so... the right setup, and a bottomless pot of coffee. None of that's available just now. Telling me the in-U.S. president, Rosalind Myers, is there with you? Sitting right across from me. She knows the situation. Waiting for your yes. Heavy shit. Am I really your one contact? You're my last and only hope. Is this going to be an escape New York that's scenario? Safety. That's your top priority. <laughs> She'll survive the landing. Doctor yes. Amounts of sure. Kind of it is. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I never made that connection before, but yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I would say more of escape from L.A. Anyone else? Yeah, but that doesn't company? involve the president. Any you expect in company? That's true. But we're on the West Coast. True. He couldn't have never I mean, it is. It used to be a lot. Meaning Washington's got a mole problem. That one only saw him later. Said you could help me. <laughs> that the plain truth? Just got a taste of my abilities, I believe. There's more. I can cure you. Once and for all. Can't know how much I'd really love to believe you, but I know V. You've hit a dead end. Nowhere to turn. Been there. Believe me. Consider this a an advance. The relics crowded with clusters of corrupted data. I'm done with that. Making room for stuff that'll actually be handy. Such as some pre militech combat stuff. It's just lying around, gathering dust. There you go, that last uh, <clears throat> attribute slot is now unlocked, Bear. Interesting. So what do you get out of this? New upgrades. Alright, show me. Emergency cloaking. So... Activating it in combat will cause enemies to lose track of you. Very handy if you're playing a sneaky character. An upgrade. There's damage. So you'd be able to target vulnerabilities. So enemies will have weak spots that you can target. Yeah. More frequent. And then the top tree here has to do with your arm upgrades. So you've got your mantis blades, gorilla arms, projectile launch system, 
and mono wire. This is actually really cool, and part of the reason I had the I have the mono wire to begin with. It'll actually upload quick hacks when you hit enemies with the mono wire. Oh. So if I were to do like contagion, upload it with the contagion, just by swinging. I also have the thermal wire, which causes burn damage. Theoretically, I should be able to make oh enemies my. explode just by hitting them with my mono wire multiple times. Should they? Right? Uh, I accept. Now, you can only upgrade it using relic points, though. And you don't get those by leveling up. You have to find locations on the map in Dogtown to earn points. Okay. So it's it's kind of like hunting for the pigeons in Grand Theft Auto 4 <laughs> or whatever it was. Or the tarot cards. Or the tarot cards, yeah. Militech firmware. Let's get freaky, baby. Solid soft. Well, a cushy government gig like mine just comes with all kinds of perks. Now listen. What I gave you is the skeleton soft, but the firmware's fancy. It'll learn, grow with you. It'll improve if you feed it data. Combat analyses, logs of legendary ops, shit that make the NCPD piss its boots. Look around Dogtown. Gotta get there first. Main entrance is a no-go. You don't have an entry pass, and I don't have time to produce a fake. You'll slip in the back way, quiet as you can. We really don't need anyone spotting you, scanning you. <sighs> Better not regret this. Leave it to me. I'll make damn sure you won't. I'll be right beside you, as much as I can. All right, time to sneak in. Excellent. There, past the fence. See it? Smugglers used to use it. Now it's your turn. Try to sneak in. Maybe distract the guards. I don't know. Something. Try to be sneaky sneaky. This is different without my throwing knives, I'll tell you that. <laughs> And I could take out all these guys, but I don't need to. Great. Now in you go. Look for a net access point. Jack in that, and I'll be able to help you. Lots of new clothing outfit options here, too. You should be okay. one level lower. Eyes peeled. Look for a way down. Anything you'll find a power source inside. Very noisy for a sneaky person. Right? <laughs> Throwing sheet metal around. Got an access point, but no power. Hmm. See if you can restore it. It's the only way it can be of any use to you. Turn something on. Nice V. Exactly what we need. Bridging systems now. Hmm. Ancient, no proto ancient protocols. Partially corrupted data. Give me a sec. Need to ping one of our sats. Let's see which active Dogtown network links to this infrastructure. And putting in a back door. Ready to roll. 
Hop on the platform. I'll guide you to the garage from there. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, relic hack first, then you slap the muzzle on Johnny, and now you bring some pile of scrap metal back to life. Serious trickery. Oh, who taught you? B, I'm an NUS intelligence analyst. Trained under the best peeps in the biz. And they took me on because around age 13, I got the local ripper to sell me a beat-up old deck. Rarely left in it since. I got noticed. The rest is history. I got a feeling story's incomplete. Likely longer. More twisted. Mm -hmm. Might be. Now this place is cool. Plaza Giant Plaza underground Plaza, parking Plaza. garage. Kapeki Plaza Heist. Yeah. Why? Interesting. Had a friend. We worked together. Gig was important to him. And he... Uh, he was important to you. He didn't make it. He did not. Now, Bear, I will say there is a lot of loot around here if you're willing to look around for it and stuff, but I'm not going to worry about it because it's mostly just like clothing items and uh, the crafting components. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're good, man. Just, let's just move the story. I think my second time through here, I realized having the uh, double jump could get me places you normally aren't supposed to be able to go, but they put loot in places that you're not supposed to go, so it's very tempting. Mm -hmm. I think I killed an hour just wandering around this place looking for loot. I think so. Interesting. I'll pick some stuff up along the way, but... Lots of stuff to explore. Whole new area. Oh, yeah. I know how you love that. Oh, yeah. You need to hang tight for This is kind of creepy. Right? By the way, must have gotten old by now. All in a faded rock. Yeah, with like around. double jump, you can get over there and check those cars. There's other platforms and whatnot. Hmm. Lots of stuff to check out. And in my numerous playthroughs, I've checked it all out numerous times, and there's not really anything that I feel like I have to get this time. Makes sense. President Myers wishes you the best of luck. <laughs> nice. Uh, tell Madam President I said, uh, hey. He got it. <laughs> I laid out the details of our plan. Typical Rosalind. Keep me apprised, she says calmly. Just sitting there, sipping her gin, looking through her agenda, postponing meets. Woman's unshakable. Cityside Metro, huh? Reminds me of when I was starting out. I'd look for places like this. Set up a power bypass, jack it in, essentially steal my way onto the net. Grab the riskiest gigs I could find, learn them as I learn. The hard way, usually. But sometimes, a few times, I really pulled off coups. Anything I'd find on BBS gossip feeds? Biotechnica in 63 or 4. Fermentation facility in Oregon. Off the grid hack. Sound familiar? 
No shit, that was you? Only the best reached that high. Talking Spider Murphy, Bart Moss, Songbird? Nah. Nick's not setting off buzzers. Oh, it froze. It froze? The game froze. Not on my end. Uh, definitely did on my side. Oh, it's back. Okay. That was weird. I wonder if it was just the feed. Could be. Now I see you standing and staring at a door. I'm not staring. I went through the door. Yeah. Ow. Little lag maybe on your end? Well, I got like six seconds behind. Well, yeah, there's that. You'll be in Dogtown in a minute. Try to steer clear of Hanson's goons. Goons should be the ones avoiding me. Oh, it's frozen again. You're on Hanson's turf now, don't forget. They ruled the roost. Hanson was an officer. Military. It's gotta be on your end, I've got Kale no lag on mine. War. His unit was tasked with taking Night City. They managed to secure a foothold in the southmost pocket and... stuck around. Refused to demobilize, lay down their weapons, Found in Dogtown instead. Traded one conflict for another, basically. Hot or cold, no better way to make a buck than war.